Hello? Oh shit! He got the new Mac, you know that shit? Holy shit, he got the new Mac! Hey, what's going on guys? James here from Manifest Griefing, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to code an ArrayList. Um, before I start the tutorial though, I just want to mention that I did get a new mic. It's a blue snowball, and uh, it's it's really really clear. It's really really high quality. Um, hopefully you guys can understand me a lot better because my other built-in mic suck crap. Um, but yeah, another thing I want to point out though is we now have partnership with TGN. Um, I found out about two weeks ago that we already had like half a partnership with YouTube. Um, basically, what that means is we could. Uh, put custom thumbnails and uh, we can monetize videos but we couldn't actually have a banner or anything so uh, now that we are partnered with TGN we can do that um, I shouldn't say we are already because it's not in full it, it hasn't fully been activated yet or like I think they're trying to release me from Google AdSense um, which is why it's taking a while um, but yeah, so basically they're just trying to release me from Google AdSense so that when I monetize a video, they get the prof, uh, they get the money instead of uh, YouTube. But anyway, uh, back to the tutorial. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to code this ArrayList, and uh, I'm actually using um, a jar or a MCP that's like it's an earlier version or a later version. It's actually like 1.2.4 or something. Um, so yeah. Alright guys, I'm back and uh, I pasted in my code for the uh, array list. and before actually doing this, I just want to point out that this is kind of an artificial and complicated way to do an array list. Uh, but it is the way that me and my friend Global uh, do an array list. but basically what it's doing is each time I activate like a hack like Fulbright or Fly or Sneak or Nofall, or x-ray it basically adds them in whatever order I press them uh, and I'll actually explain all this to you so basically uh, here's all the integers and basically it just this is just the name and then this is what I'm setting the value to so that's basically what an integer does um, so as you can see when I press Fulbright it'll render a string called and it'll render brightness uh, the x value will be scaled resolution, which is basically scale uh, width and height, and it'll get the width of basically this string, and it'll minus the width of this. Um, so I know that can be kind of confusing because I really don't know how to explain that too well. But basically, what it does is it gets the amount um, of units this string is, and basically to put it in simpler words. Uh, brightness has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten letters in it, and let's just call each one of those letters a unit. All right. So, since this has ten units, it'll minus ten units in order to, um, in order to actually write out brightness. Um, not too sure if I explained that too well, but if you guys are still having a hard time understanding this, please just, um. PM me or leave a comment and I'll try my best to explain it um, but yeah so uh, line 2 is the Y coordinate and that would be 2 and then this is the color uh, you guys can pick your own colors uh, the reason this array list looks like this actually is so that we can have different colors for each one um, there is another way to do this uh, that's a little bit more simple, but this is the way that me and Global do it um, because we want different colors. So yes, I will put this code in the description mostly because um, I know that a lot of you really won't understand this. But again, if you don't, if you do not understand this, then please just leave it in the comments and I'll explain it. And uh, I'll I'll pop up a video right now um, so that you guys can see how this looks like. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.